a challenge. I don't think this is a great idea. Hey, uh, you know what? Yeah, you're right. Maybe I should just uh, give Nick the butter pops as like an act of charity or something. Fine, you're on. Yeah, boy! <laughs> Jacob, hand me that gun now. I mean, nobody's handling any firearms if you're gonna act like a dick about okay, it. Okay, then you can be the ref. You need an objective third party. Okay, we're trying to get a party started here, Jacob. Okay, well, the main party's not gonna die just because you're off on a little side quest. Come on. Please. All right. Yeah. Guess we're gonna have ourselves an old-fashioned shootout. <sighs> Look, there's a clearing we can use as a shooting range back there, but... If I see either of you dicking around, I am turning this car around. Oh, uh, we'll be good. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, so just so you know, I was an expert marksman, <clears throat> third class, three years in a row, ranked highest in camp each year. I'm just letting you know that your goose is cooked, Nick, but if you back down now, I might let you just have one little peanut butter butter pop if you're lucky. No way. You've never even seen me shoot. Yeah, that's because you've never shot before. Yeah, not that you know of. <laughs> okay, I think I would know if okay, you actually... Okay, boys, I'm gonna have to stop you right there. As much as I'm enjoying your charming machismo, the moment we step foot on the shooting range, we're playing by my rules, okay? And what I say goes. Got it? Okay, good. Now I'm gonna go set up some targets and get more shells. Do not move a muscle or touch his gun until I'm back. All right, so is it just me? Is it kind of hot when she gets all bossy like that? I'm always hot, pencil deck. Yeah, okay, thank you. Bye. Bye. So, um, how was your little one-on-one -on -one with Abby in the woods? It was... It was okay. Hey, that a boy! So, I mean, what happened? Well, we flirted a little. She's... Really smart. Yeah? Mmm, yeah. I mean, you see the deal? Don't be gross. No, 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 hey, look, no sweat, okay? We all get performance anxiety sometimes. You just better make your move before a real man swoops in. Speaking of, let me show you how a real man shoots his gun. Are you guys seriously still thumping your chest at each other? No, I think he's got brain damage. <sighs> okay, please, just give me the gun. Uh-uh, you'll have it when I say you'll have it. All right, huddle up, boys. This is how we're going to do this. You're shooting the one on the left. Nick first, then Jacob's turn. Keep your fingers off the trigger till you're ready to shoot. You got it? Aye, aye. All right. Two things. Remember the spread. Remember the recoil. This is a shotgun. We're not sharpshooting here. The flashlight shows you where you're aiming. Obvs. All right, Nick, one point. Okay, we're too far back to do any real damage. Let's scooch forward a little and uh, fuck these guys up. Thank you, good. All right, Nick, this time for real. Nice shot. Lucky. Point to you, Nick. Good job, Nick. All right. Let's see what you got. All right. You might want to uh, avert your eyes, Nick. I don't want to give you any more performance anxiety. Uh, all right, all right. Just shut up and shoot, Jacob. I thought you were an ultra elite pro marksman. Yeah, with like a rifle. Whoa, okay, dude, not with this fucking cannon dude, blaster. That is how you get someone shot. Nah, it's okay. You probably would have missed me anyway. Hey. Okay, disqualified for being a dumbass. What? No. Ooh, what's that, Jakey? Huh? Huh? Pop, pop. Peanut butter, butter. Pops. Okay, I get it. I get it. Blam, we thought this was over. What the? Whoa. Pop, pop, peanut butter, butter pops.
Okay. New idea. Party game. Uh, Come on, people. We might never see each other after tonight. Let's make some memories. Well, what do you have in mind? How about the ultimate game of secrets and lies, truth or dare, but Dylan style? Okay, house rules are, someone asks you truth or dare, then you choose, and then you do. And there's no ifs, ands, or buts. So like, normal truth or dare? Yes. So we can like, make people kiss? If they choose dare, yeah. As long as everyone consents, of course. Cool beans. I mean, keep it in your pants until it's your turn, but... <laughs> well, who does get to go first? Well, it's house steals, so... Abigail. Truth or dare? Um... Truth. You really dodged a bullet, huh? All right, here goes. Have you ever slept with anyone? Oh, I... Uh, I... Hey, take it easy, man. That's too far. Come on. I, I'm not finished. Um, have you ever slept with anyone at this camp? <laughs> no. Nope. Sorry. All right, Abby, it's your turn. <laughs> All right, okay. Um, uh, Abby, oh my God, just pick someone. Okay, okay, um... Uh, I don't know. Ugh, ding, 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 too late. My turn. Ryan, truth or dare? Dare. Give me what you got. Okay, Ryan. Your dare comes with a choice. Can't you do that? I can do whatever I want. <laughs> And I dare you to kiss either Caitlin or Dylan. Wow. I mean, I guess both is off the table. Sorry. I don't make the rules. I mean, you literally <laughs> just did, but okay. Let's do this. Caitlin, shall we? Always happy to please. Alrighty, who shall I pick? Well, uh, me and Jacob haven't gotten a turn yet. Good point. All right, Jacob, let's see what you're made of. Oh, there, there, man, come on. Okay. I dare you take a flying leap over that fire pit. <laughs> Naked. Oh, dude! Fuck yes! Oh, I will jump over this thing, I don't care. Y yeah, I don't think that's a good idea. No, no, Jacob, wait. Don't do it. Stop. Dude, I say veto, you're gonna fuck yourself up. <laughs> what? No, come on, man, I got this. Ryan, come on. Fine, Vito. You know what? Fuck this game. All right? <clears throat> Someone else can go. Okay, fine. Then I call your turn. <clears throat> Whatever. Emma. There. Emma, so you have to kiss... Jacob? Or... Oh. Nick. Uh. <laughs> well then. Um. Uh, sorry, Nick. This is not uh, even there, obviously. I don't know if that's a good this. idea. I choose Nick. What? M. <laughs> Seriously.
Guys. Guys! Thank you, Nick. He's good. You're like kissing my girlfriend, asshole? It was just a game. Hey, I'm nobody's <laughs> girlfriend. The fuck it was? It was just a game. Yeah, the fuck it was, man! Jacob, grow up. Well, I guess I should probably go after him. You should probably go find Abby. So, anybody want to play Parcheesi? What? Welcome back. I am, as always, delighted that you're here. So, then, what more has been found? You return without any more of my cards. Yet you return nonetheless. Why is that, do you think? I can't help you without the cards. I want them found. I want them returned to me. Please, my friend. That's all I have to say for now. Secrets remain buried and the night grows darker. I'll see you again, you can count on that. Be careful. Where the wolves go, the ravens follow. Stupid game. What are we in middle school? Why should I even care? Anybody can kiss anybody. Stupid. S stupid. <sighs> Great. Where the hell am I? Uh-oh. <laughs> Abby? Abby? You out here? Yeah. <sighs> Nick! Abby? Shout again! I'm over here! I'm coming! Nick! Hey. Hey. Um. Hi. You, uh. You ran off.
I think that game just got a little too intense for me. I... Yeah, I know what you mean. So, all that stuff back there... Oh my gosh. Emma really wanted to make Jacob jealous, huh? You think? I mean, yeah, why the heck else would she kiss me like that? True. I was just playing along. Yeah. It's just a game, right? Right. <laughs> Did you hear that? Mm hmm Should we look? Mm-hmm.
Truth is there. It's a fun game. Technique needs work. Hey. Uh, yeah. I guess you found that. Of course. <sighs> Sneaking down here was a little more fun when we thought we could get caught, huh? Yeah, I, uh, I guess. Jacob, I thought we agreed that this, us, was just supposed to be some summer fun. Yeah, no, no. I know, I just... You just love having an audience, huh? <laughs> Jacob. I mean, you I can't believe you, like, you fucking Frenched him! <gasps> you know, in front of everyone! Jesus wept! French, are we 12? No, but Nick is. Kind of. <laughs> you know, I love the guy, but I don't think he's actually ever seen a girl naked before. Well, I hate to break it to you, but he just had his tongue down my throat, and he definitely knew what to do with it. <laughs> You, you really love fucking with me, huh? Lighten up, Sarapus, please. This is not how the night was supposed to go. What? You know what? Nothing. No Nothing. Never mind. Fine. You can stand here, sulking. Driving yourself crazy imagining Nick's tongue in my mouth. Ah! Oh, come on! Or... You can go grab us some towels. What do you need towels for? Well, we agreed. Some are fun, right? Apparently, summer is not quite over. Okay. Not long ago. Wonder if it was near here.
No towels. None? There's exactly zero. You dick. What the hell? numbers Okay, well, I guess we could just, like, drip dry, or you, know, you could shake it out doggy style. Wow, you really know how to talk to a girl, don't you? <laughs> Look, you can't just pretend that it didn't happen. <gasps> oh, but I can, because, you see, oh, help! Help, I'm, I'm drowning, and I, I need a big, strong, not at all insecure man to come save me. <laughs> yeah, well, why don't you ask Nick? Okay, I'm sure he'd love to rescue you. I'm ignoring you. <laughs> Got ya. What the hell, man? Oh, okay. Okay, now you're gonna get it. See? <laughs> <laughs> hey! Quit it! Oh, stop being a uh, crump! Uh, attack! Uh, hey! <laughs> <gasps> <laughs> Dick move. Look, I don't want this to end. Hmm. I'd be happy to stay out here all summer, but I think we'd get a little pruney. Oh, you know what I mean, like... I mean this. Jacob, I had a great summer with you well it doesn't just have to be the summer <laughs> okay oh look how about this um <clears throat> if i can do a backflip off of here you let me come visit you okay how about that right hey where are you going come on a scream and it, it sounded like abby but like not the good kind of scream i can't hear you okay look just just hold on i'm gonna go check it out what, what seriously That was some mighty fine social disruption there, Caitlin, I have to say. Ah, or was it just the nudge that Abby needed? 
or an evil genius. Who do you think is going to make the first move? Nick or Abby? Ooh, good cue. My bet's on either. I don't know. Nick's got the beast in him. Uh, if by beast you mean some sort of mild-mannered baby deer. Hey, don't let the cute preppy aesthetic fool you. It's like a steel barbecue grill under that shirt. <laughs> so, you noticed that too, huh? So, what do you guys want to do now? We can keep playing. Yeah? Just the three of us? All right, Dylan. Truth or... I sound like Abby. Oh my gosh. Uh, we gotta help her. Uh, <laughs> Wait, where did it come from? This way. Come on. Abby! Help! Please! Nick! Help him! Hey! What happened? Abby, what happened? Brian! We gotta know what. Well, she needs help. Give her a second. Go after Nick! Go! Okay. I got this. That shotgun's got a hell of a spread. Be careful. Come on, come on. Naked girl waiting for you back there, Jacob. What are you doing? Okay. Okay.
Please, please, man, just, just let me down, okay? Just, don't hurt me, please. Oh, Jesus Christ, what the fuck are you doing? Seems like just a blink, and you're back to see me again. So, then, what have we got? It's the star. Stars, stars in the night, sky, beacons of light, dreams of hope, purpose, or a reminder of our insignificance. Fear of despair, trust in the light of the star, with it comes clarity, and sometimes proof. The tower. Jump free of your troubles, fight or flight. That's the question we all ask ourselves, but Often, when leaping out of danger, we're still faced with certain peril. Watch your step. It could be your last. Remember, there's always more than meets the eye. Would you like me to show you? Yes, good. But I can only delve deeper into one possible future. So which is it? Choose. Back to it then. Back to Hackett's Quarry. Back to Hackett's quarry you go. Oh, the fun you'll have. That was horrible. It was, it, it was, I, I, I don't even know what it was. It was so fast and, and there was a, uh, there was a hunter and it was just. Oh, Abby. Here. What? Oh, try drawing. Drawing what? Oh, uh, can you draw what attacked you? Nick. Hey, buddy. Can you tell me what those guys did to you? Rush did. He's super out of it. Yeah. The, the the hunter. Uh, yeah. There was a guy. But there was something else. Some kind of animal. What? Uh, 
kind of animal. No, no, I only saw a dude trying to take him away. He's probably just disoriented, that's all. The dude was massive and angry. Did I, did I get, is, is Abby? Yeah, hey, she, hey, she's okay, dude. She's right over there. Because teeth were on top of me. I think it was a bear. Full-size bear would have crushed him. There's no way. I, I thought we don't get bears right here. No. Uh, oh, fuck. Look at that. Oh, fuck. shit. That black stuff? That's that's infection. That's and it's it, it's spreading. This is bad. This is really bad, dude. Uh, sorry, uh, sorry. Uh, You're okay. It's okay. Fuck that. Hurt. We should amputate. We should cut it off before the infection spreads. What? Why would we do that? I don't know, man. Look at that black stuff. What, what do you think it is? Do I look like a doctor? And I know how to use it. Sort of. Brian, what if it's Jacob or Emma? What if it's not? Be careful. It was probably nothing. Yeah. But is it gone? Yeah, you better run. Very brave. All right. So, uh, Lodge is sounding pretty good right about now, yeah? No, 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 don't shoot, don't shoot. I'm here to save you. Holy shit. Nick. Is he okay? Nick and Abby were attacked. In the woods. Hey, does anybody have any dry clothes? I'm, I'm fucking freezing. All our bags are still in the minivan. Oh, fuck, of course they are. So wait, what happened to you? Right, right, okay, so. Like I was saying, okay? I heard Abby screaming, so I came running. Like, as fast as I could. From the lake? Yeah, and then and then out of nowhere, I stepped into this, like, I don't know, like a, like a booby trap? Like some sort of hunter's trap? Hunters? I told you it was hunters. The goddamn thing snared my leg, hoisted me halfway into the tree, just zoop! So I'm hanging there, half naked, and then this guy with, like, a fucking machete comes right up to me, looks me right in the fucking eyes. But I taught that guy a lesson, booked it right the fuck out of there. We gotta get Nick and Abby back to the lodge. Like, right now. Uh, hard agree. I gotta go get Emma. Uh, excuse me? Hey, I need this, okay? It's not safe out there. Dude, we gotta protect Nick and Abby. Yeah, and I need to save Emma, alright? She's out there alone. You don't even know if she's in trouble. You don't even know if you're in trouble. Are you trying to piss me off? No, I'm trying to save my girlfriend's life, asshole. Yeah, I don't think she's your girlfriend, dude. What? <laughs> Get... Fuck. Fucking stop! We're in a real mess here, guys. You're acting like pricks, both of you. Jacob, we're keeping this. Nick and Abby are injured. We need protection. There's someone around here. <laughs> 
Ryan. Sorry. This is bullshit. Make sure she's safe. If she's on the island, she's definitely fine. And what, risk another uh, run-in with Captain Deliverance? No thanks, okay? There's probably another boat by the zipline. Either way, I can make it to the island from there. We need to get back to the lodge. Try to get help. How? Nick can't walk properly. Wait, I have an idea. Okay, let's see what Tanae brings. Okay, here's a riddle for you. What's got two thumbs and is suddenly riding solo on a freaky island in the dark? This fool, well, one thumb, one available thumb. Okay. And it was here, on a strange, uninhabited island that this brave young soul found herself. Okay, full disclosure, I've suddenly found myself on a, a strange, tiny little island all alone with nothing to do but show you guys around. So, there's a tree house over there. I'm going to go and see if I can't dish out some of that sweet, sweet panoramic goodness. Because here's the thing. Not that I want to go back because I don't. But even if I did, I can't. Because then I'd look like the super needy one when he was the one who, who stormed off in the first place. You know what? Sorry, I'm venting. Oh, explore venting. You know what? Fuck it. Let's do it. To the treehouse, fellow explorers. <laughs> and this is the meeting shelter. It's a shelter where you meet at. Okay, I'm trying really hard to make this interesting, but sometimes a thing just is what it is. I think I've made my point. So this island is like an unexcavated part of the quarry that rewilded itself after it flooded into the lake. Pretty cool, huh? You know, when I was little, I used to think that islands just kind of would float in the middle of the water, kind of like an airbed. But I'm older and wiser now and realize that not everything's always as it seems. Kind of like how you thought you were just having a hot summer fling and then it turns into babysitting a big hairy man child who's all sad because you don't want to go steady with him and write him love letters every freaking day. And while we're talking about it, you don't mind that we're talking about it, right? Why? Why does it have to me to justify my feelings when he's the one who got all blah about it, you know? <sighs> oh, look. A metaphor in the narrative by mean of fork in the road. How fitting. Here's the big question. Do I take the high road, literally, and forget about it? Or do I continue on the path I'm on and keep ranting about my stupid dumb life. I guess since this isn't live, the choice is up to me. Okay, moving up in the world. Let's do this. Now you might notice the darling rustic vibes this walkway is radiating, and that's no accident. I don't know what y'all are doing with your walkways, but if you're not spending a full hour pulling a splinter out of a snotty kid's finger, don't you dare call it authentic. Don't worry, the kid was fine. I'm a good counselor. And what doesn't kill you will make you stronger.
this is where we're heading. Not too shabby. Well, literally is too shabby, but these views, oh man, you're gonna blow your tops. There's also a zip line, which eh, I guess you can watch me crap my pants on that thing. What the hell? I'm here, aren't I? I'm gonna carpe this DM so damn hard it won't know what hit it. But first, we gotta get there. And there's still so much to talk about. I hope Abby's okay. She ran off earlier. If you didn't see it, I kind of sort of made out with Nick. But it was a dare. I'm not like a bitch or anything. Oh, and for context, Abby likes Nick. Well, actually, they like each other. In truth, I just wanted to fan the flames a little. Watching them stumble around each other like drunk jellyfish was exhausting. Poor kid was like a deer in headlights. It's cool, though. They're smart. They'll get it. I bet they're out there in the woods right now, just absolutely going for it. Car keys. Police car keys. I think this may be one of those, I'm sorry officer, I have no idea what you're talking about situations. So I'm just gonna go ahead and leave those right there. And here we are, as promised, one extremely rickety and even more underwhelming tree house. In another world, perhaps young Jacob and I would settle down here and play house together. Honey, I'm home. What's that now? 